<clears throat> Alright guys, it's so amazing how we got this far and you know, we're uh, almost done with the game. You know what I'm saying? But uh, welcome guys, welcome to another Red Dead video. I really appreciate everybody that uh, all support that y'all have gone with this series. Uh, in for a long ride with my boy Arthur here, Arthur Morgan. Um, I usually don't put side missions in the game uh, when I do do them, but like... Yep. Sometimes I put side missions. We're gonna go back to the city. We're gonna go to uh, Trailway and uh, do that mission. We got two missions in the cities uh, we can do, so we're gonna go there and do that. Anyway, guys, like I was saying, I really appreciate all the support y'all have done with this series. It's an amazing game. Multiplayer is coming out this month. Oh, that kind of scared me. The auto save always gets me, man. But yeah, like I was saying. This is an amazing series. Um, multiplayer is coming out this month. I don't know the exact date. If you know the exact date uh, multiplayer is coming out, please let me know. Uh, I want to be ready for that day. And uh, have some videos up for you guys. So we get things rocking. Now when we get to the city, you got to be like real careful. Real careful because like <laughs> it's so easy to run over people. It's so easy. So like that's why you don't need to like ride on your horse like real fast. Should be in here somewhere. Oh there he is right there. Okay. Well, let's hey, cutscene well, play out guys. Well. I'll be right yes, back. Here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. What? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi river boat looking like this. Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. I guess we have made it. <clears throat> See what we got going over here. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new. Oh, okay, suit. we're finna buy a suit. We are Let's see what we can do. This See what we can buy. This gentleman look like the Duke he really is. This is the only one. It was the English's fault. His grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous hmm. people. Super quality. Oh, you can super, see the aristocrat in his quality. profile. Okay. The heavy brow from all the Oh uh, zero dollars though. That's a it's a cop. Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. A very good choice, sir. Arthur Morgan. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good uh oh, we're we going to the barber? No, I don't want to cut my hair. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious. Action. I want to grow everything oh, else. The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. Everything. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you Oh win. my gosh. We're going to bet cards, bro. I'm so bad at that stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know how to play poker or anything like that. All I don't, the while, Herr Strauss will be I don't do any of that. Line of sight. When you Somebody the teach place, me. I know he did teach you like the first game, but I was like so impatient. I didn't want to like that was some side missions that I did. Uh, I played you poker, and I just no, mm -mm. I don't, sure. I don't really care for it that much. I don't. I was impatient. I didn't want to feel like reading it. The suspense is killing me. Understanding no, the game. Don't, my dear hick friend here. All right. Time to get a haircut, boys. This unlikely fellow We're keeping a beard. Alright. We'll keep the beard. And learned himself not a lick of manners the or gentlemanly deportment. What, what should we get? Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about the buzz, boys. The buzz. Make him look like a prince, sir.
This white here is good. I like that. We're keeping the beard. We're keeping it. We're growing out the beard. Go teen and everything. All of it. There. Very smart. Oh Come yeah. Let's we got the faded we got faded up, bro. I've got shot. Some transportation for us. Get in this baby. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. Come on, hurry up, man. Get in, man. Like, what is he doing, bro? What do you mean? To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. It's kind of cold in my room right now. Well, I got you. my little blanket and I'm oh, just uh, enjoying the game. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't bring it up there on horses like a bunch of good luck, sir. Oh, right, guys, we have made it. Um. Now remember what I said, Strauss. Hey, when you like, you send a text message or uh, some sort of message to the wrong person. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jeff. Don't Champagne know. Who are you? On dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Let's play this first person, guys. This is cool kind of first person. Come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Drinks are on Arthur. Whoa, no, 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 no. I gotta go in first, okay? Champagne. Oh, all cut right. guys. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables are. Why did this cut I'll to go that? I'll find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. All right, boys, we are back. Boys and girls, we are back. Where can I right. get a whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? It's fun playing the first person. Let's see it. Get a little third person in. See, let's look around. You know what I'm saying? Are you joining us? Am I joining y'all? Okay, I join y'all. Uh, where I'm at? Okay. All right, let's see if we can win some poker, Good guys. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Desmond Blythe. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Mm -hmm. It's my okay, mic too gentlemen. far away. Let's play. I hope you're there a player. Okay. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked hmm. up, waiting for me. Three hundred dollars. Just join already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? So I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blind, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the traps are supposed to help yes, us. I'll call. Good God, are you men or mice? Mm. I'll call. He's shaking his head, talking about no. So, do we just keep on calling? Call. What the hell? Yes, call. Alright, we got a 17s okay, and queens, sorry, boys, right? I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. To hell with it. He's shaking his head no, so I guess I guess we're just I guess we're just fold. Right? Nah, I'm out. I think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Here we go then. Well, hello, ladies.
Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> I would have lost, wouldn't I? Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man. So I guess I did something right. I voted right. So yeah. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So I do not know how to play poker. You in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, we got two queens. I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. He's shaking his head. Whoa. I'll call. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. So what are we supposed to do? He's saying yes. I don't know what to do. My my Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. We won! We won! Shit. 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 I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Laura, right, you got something else to play with. Meaning. Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. All right, boys, we're about to get a dub right here, boys. You know what I'm saying? You must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. All right, we got two kings, guys. Don't know what that means, but I guess it's good. It has to be. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. He's shaking his head. So, you know what? Pear cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God. Damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky day. We out here catching dogs, boys. My lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Why not? Let's go, boys. Please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. I better not be getting ambushed You're up here either. Quite the night. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching my yeah, back so the whole far. time. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. A greaser? I ain't no greaser. We live in strange times. You gotta watch your bad boy. Person, watch your D's up if you want. Gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Uh oh, he got a strap strap. Okay. So Next, so he busting busting. We'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know. I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Guys, well, you need to remember where you are at. Here we are. Every piece, everywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? Know how to get off it on this boat, you know what I'm saying? That's how we do it back in the day, boys. You know what I'm saying? Call me a uh, slim reaper. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. 
Yeah, but not baby fast. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. the mess out of me. I only have one hand on the controller. I only have one hand on the controller. Oh, God. We should move these bodies, you You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we not move the bodies? Forget it. We're out this baby. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. We and how we're gonna go out here guns blazing, bro. I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir! In the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> look, there's your friend. Not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Here we go, get the show on the road, baby. Cut scene, be right back, guys. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is, shoot that man. <laughs> there he is, shoot that man, boys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get a... I'm not like, oh, what the heck? Okay. Who's that? This, this is a civilized person. Ah! I just wanted a clean shot onto somebody. Oh, he moved. I'm trying to move up, I'm in. Ah. Uh, there we go. You see how he died? He sat down. Let's push this man. What's up? Oh wait. Oh oh god. Oh god. Can I? I want to hit him. I'm trying to get my health up. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna die trying to do this. I'm gonna. Golly. We don't gotta go. I get some ammo, guys. Die! <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. 
You're just gonna swim all the way there? <laughs> Something just touched my leg. Already, they just got in the water. Well, they've been shot, so. Sharks could come. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a right lingo, all right. <clears throat> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Alright boys, we have completed that. So this is this one. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Uh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, we will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. I don't know what I was supposed to do. But... Uh, oh yeah, you're supposed to go meet them over there, but 
We might go do this, uh, this mission right here. Yeah, we might better go back in town and do this mission. Unless it actually pops up where we have to go for that. See, like, they'll just be walking out. Ready to get hit. How have you been, Arthur? How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> a few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What in the world? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take What off. in the what world is happening on. right now, guys? What in the world? Hold up. Bop. Bop. Get out of here, baby. What's up? Bop. 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 Yeah, protect my guy Jack over there. Women and children inside. Rescue you. Hold your ground. Why are you running, cuz? Get down there and help them. We're going inside. Damn crap. Come on, damn Driscoll. What's happening, Driscoll? Hold it in here. And stay away from the window. You tell Mr. Pearson. Get inside fast. Come on, quick. Don't let anyone back. Hold here! Hold here! Any more casualties? Just gear it! At the moment, let's try Arthur Morgan could have took all of them by herself. Get them doors barricaded. Get those doors barricaded quick. Good. Now everyone I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Okay. Look what we got here. One of their 
coming for you. What the heck? Well, I mean, might as well. Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Kentucky Berber. Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. What up, Satan? We need you in the house, Mrs. Sadler. Oh, Sadler? I thought name was Satan. Get the gun back out, baby. Woo! Give me that headshot to your dome, kid. Come here, kid. Come here, kid. They didn't even mad, boy. Oh. There we go. Who's over here? He keeps on shooting. I'm not even pressing the RT button. See, why he doesn't even pop a red. Who's over here? What? What is he doing? Come out. Come out. Okay. I guess we killed him. Ah. Uh, what? Okay. Well, I don't know why it decided to aim down like that. What the heck? Who is this? Yeah. Go, boys. We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <clears throat> he saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. All right, boys. Got two more missions up on the board and we gotta clearly find a new place. Um, we have this mission all the way down here, which is uh, gonna be hard to go back into that state because of uh, we have a hundred twenty dollar bounty on our head, but we can just pay that off. Um, so we will hit that mission, then we will hit Dutch mission. Two, we're probably gonna hit this one first, just to, because it's just a long way. We get it out of the way, and we're probably gonna have some people trying to kill us while we're on the way there. So, uh, let's just see how it goes so far. Other than that, guys, excuse me. Other than that, guys, um, I will see you guys next videos. These two missions, this is the ones that we're going to be doing. So, other than that, guys, I am out.